How's it going, everybody? My name is Nick, and I'm your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers, and I'm coming back to you with another Factory Draft League battle. This week, I think it's, what week? Is it week six? We are taking on Coach Justin and his Super Shuckle. Uh, Justin does not have a win on the season quite yet. Um, his, his team's interesting. But I, I do think he could pick up wins with it, given the opportunity. We are still sitting undefeated um, after last week's uh, death match with Coach Casper and his Serene Grace Shockwaves. Uh, we're looking to keep that streak going. And I want to thank Justin a whole hell of a lot for uh, a lot of setting up this battle soon or early on in the week. Uh, due to other pressing matters that I have going on this coming of weekend. So yeah, um, I'm going to tell you what Justin's team is and let you, let you make inferences from there. And then I'll let you go over the six that I anticipate him to bring, as well as the six that I am bringing this week and why. Justin's team consists of Cramorant, Rhyperior, Torkoal, Toracat, Shuckle, Dusclops, H Slash, Porygon 2, Amoongus, and Hatterene. Now, just hearing those 10 mons, you should think one of two things. One, VGC. Two, Trick Room all the way. He's got his two fastest mons are Cramorant and Toracat with base 85 and base 90 speeds, uh, respectively. The rest of his team is incredibly slow. So I thought that this would be the week that I could leave Dragapult on the bench, uh, have fun with my lower speed mons, lower tier mons, and hopefully still pick up the W. Uh, the six You see the six that I anticipate him to bring, and that is that Hatterene, Amoongus, Porygon 2, Aegislash, Dusclops, and Shuckle. Um, those, those are kind of interchange, interchangeable, I guess. I know he likes to use his Torkoal as well. Uh... I think the first three come, maybe Rhyperior and Torkoal should come. Uh, if you want some speed, uh, Toracat is his way to go. I don't, But I don't think Toracat and Cramorant really have good matchups against my team. So I don't think he would opt to bring those. <clears throat> Hatterene's great magic. We have to remember that it has magic access to magic bounce. So we have to be careful when setting up spikes or throwing off some kind of status. Amoongus is a great regenerator mon, access to Spore, uh, Clear Smog, great at getting rid of stat boost, <clears throat> and incredibly bulky. P2, um, incredibly bulky with a Violate, access, uh, can set up Trick Room, throw off some Toxics, a Thunder Waves here or there, has access to the ability, uh, what's it called? Download? So depending on what mon I have in, it's attack or special attack could get increased, and we definitely have to watch out for that. Aegislash is a monster. I used it in one draft league. It was able to sweep a couple teams with it. Um, I think it's the fastest of the six that I anticipate him to bring with a base 60 speed, but can definitely set up using an Autotomize or a Swords Dance, <clears throat> a Shadow Sneak variant. Dusclops is another ghost type uh, that I anticipate him to bring just to, so that he has ways to deal with my Dragapult. It, it'd be that Hatterene, Aegislash, and Dusclops combination. Like another Trick Room setter. Uh, going back, that Hatterene can also set up Trick Room and then Shuckle sets up uh, Hazards, <clears throat> which leads us into the team that I am bringing, which is Mandibuzz, uh, Physic, I think it's Mixed Defense, Heavy Duty Boots, Knock Off Defog Roost, and drawing a blank. Hold on. Let's check. What, what do you have? Knock Off Defog Roost and U Turn. Uh, then we have a Contrary Lorantis, which we can uh, use to take care of or to take advantage of Sticky Webs if he wants to set it up. We have Porygon Z, which is just there to be bulky attack, uh, Shadow Ball, Tri-Attack, Trick Room Protect uh, with a Life Orb. 
we have quillfish, which is out here. Hold on, what's going on? Oh, okay, I see what that is. Quillfish is out here to set up maybe a couple layers of spikes. We have acid spray, scald, and taunt on it with black sludge and intimidate. Lantern's water absorb, just in case he opts to bring cramorant. Yes, because the uh, volt absorb really doesn't do anything for his team, so we opted to go for water absorb instead. And then stack attack, which is the attack boosting one that I have tried to bring to two other matches before this and just couldn't get it rolling, pun intended, because it does have gyro ball. Uh, hopefully that we can get that rolling. It is rocking a Shookaberry in case Rhyperior wants to come. Or I, I was thinking about Chopperberry for like a Sacred Sword Aegis Slash but, or a Close Combat. But if that comes, then good on him. So yeah, we're going to try to get connected here with Justin real quick and get this battle on the way. All right, we are here connected with Justin. Oh, let me take my glasses off so there's not that kind of glare. Oh, man. Here and connected with Justin. Uh, got our team picked. Let's see what he decided to bring, see if we got anything right. All right, Aegislash. He did bring Toracat. So no dust clap shuckle or or who or P two okay so we got these three no shuckle dust clops or P two that's fine with us um I think that. We're gonna lead Robin. And see what he wants to do from there. Yeah, we're gonna lead Manda Buzz. All right. I was really hoping that he would bring Shuckle and try to set up webs against me. I wanted a get a fast uh Lorant fast ish Lorantis, I guess. Uh good luck Justin, have fun. He starts out with the Hatterene. We are fine with that. What do we see? Anything? No. Okay, we're just gonna U turn out right here. We can go straight into uh, Stack Attacka. Yes. Okay. So now we can take care. Now we can take advantage of his Trick Room. Um, I think our best move right now is we're going to go for a safe earthquake right here. Okay, he decides to stay in. How much damage are we doing? Mystical fire into us. Okay. Doesn't do much. Mystical fire trick room and we'll just gyro ball right here if he stays in good for us I guess earthquake would have been the better play Um, Gyro Ball will definitely pick up the kill against Hatterene. Okay, he decides to withdraw. 
Who would we see next? Aegis slash Gutsy. These leftovers? Yes. Aegis slash. Um, play safe and just go for the earthquake here. Okay. So he will stance change and we see shadow ball. Okay, is it a special Aegis Slash? Oh, we get this bit F drop too, okay. Um, we're just gonna go for the Earthquake here. As he King Shields. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to switch out into uh, PZ. We do have Shadow Ball on the Porygon, and I want to see what he wants to do here. Probably. I wonder if he's going for another Shadow Ball. Yep, cool. And I'm just gonna go for the Shadow Ball right now. If he King Shields, he King Shields. Yep. We should still be able to knock it out here. There we go. So PZ kills Aegis Slash with Shadow Ball. And I think Torquette's his fastest mom in this matchup. He does decide to go out in the Toracat. Intimidate is not going to hurt us. Um, I want to see what he wants to go for. So we're going to go for the Protect. Scout out this. Fake out, okay. And we're just going to go for a big try attack right here. Parting shot. Ooh, nice one. So he's run he is running some speed or it was a speed tie. Okay. So was he I anticipate him to go out into Rhyperior probably. Parting shot fake out. Oh, Amoongus, okay. Ooh, that is good damage. I'm gonna go for another try attack. He's not Black Sludge, so I... I don't know what he is. 
Yes, go PZ. PZ kills Amoongus with tri attack. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just got to roll in our favor. Let's see. We are minus one, so we do have to remember that. Um, I think we can I don't want to stay in here per se. Uh, let's go out into Quillfish. Let's see what he wants to do from there. Ooh, solar beam, okay. Good tech. Very good damage on us. Okay, so I think right here, I just want to go ahead and get up a layer of spikes and let Quillfish go down. Yep, Torkoal kills Quillfish with Solar Beam. Let's get Quillfish off the layout now. Okay. Um, sun's up, so we're not gonna be doing too much with lantern there. I think we'll just go out into Mandibuzz here. Go for a knockoff. Get some damage onto this. That way, uh, Porygon can come back in and kill it with a big try attack. To no spadef, basically, Torkoal try attacks doing 98 minimum. Okay, so our cat comes in, gets the intimidate off, but it's going to lose its uh, violate probably. Ooh, big damage! Oh, focus, focus, Ash. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna U-turn right here. Flare blitz in the sun. Okay. Big damage. And I think they're, I'm just gonna go out into Sanji the Lantern. And then we'll just volt switch. Parting shot. I doubt he goes into Rhyperior here.
Oh, he does go into rapier. Okay. <laughs> um, we really don't want to take an earthquake here. So I'm going to switch out into Mandibuzz. I have horsepower, okay. Well, we don't want to take that either, but I think that's better than Earthquake. And then we'll Roost. Rock slide, okay. Then I'm just gonna U-turn out right here, get some more chip damage. Go out into Lorantis. Does a bit more damage than I was hoping. Um, I think the play here is to The play is definitely to leave Storm. And hopefully, and if he switches, he switches. Okay. So we do connect. Should be able to pick up the kill. Yes. Lorantis kills Rhyperior with leave Storm. And. He probably goes out into Torcat here. Definitely don't want to be taking a flare blitz from this. So I think we'll just go out into Sanji. Then we'll Volt switch out. Yeah, we'll Volt switch right here. Then he'll probably switch into, I don't know. Torkoal, if he's predicting the water move Hatterene, if he's not. Really doesn't matter, though. Yeah, okay. Then I think here we just go out into PZ. We'll hit try attack. Uh, the only thing that it's... Torcat might die on entry. I don't remember what health it was at. So PZ gets a kill, PZ kills. Tor cat or not Tor cat hat with tr 
try attack. Quillfish gets the kill on Tor Cat with spikes. And then we should be able to pick up the kill on Torkoal with a uh, try attack. As long as there's no spadef. Yep, no, it doesn't look like there was any spadef on that. And PZ picks up the final kill against Torkoal with try attack. And that is a 5-0 victory for your Philadelphia Pincers. As we continue our win streak into next week, uh, where we will play Coach Peter and the New York Fire Dogs, who is currently the only other undefeated team in the league. So hopefully he can go undefeated this week. And so we have another Clash of the Titans next week, I know. Um, yeah, fun game. I knew that his team was super slow, so I tried taking advantage of that. I had lots of bulk on all of my mons. I didn't have any speed investment whatsoever on PZ or Amanda Buzz, who were my two fastest, I think, in this matchup. <clears throat> but yeah, good game, uh, Justin. Your team can put out damage. Um, I think you should utilize... I don't know, uh, setting up the trick room more. I know that my team was geared toward not blocking it, but abusing it as well this week. But I think you should definitely carry trick room on more than one of your mons in this, and your team could flourish. Um, Yeah, if you've made it this far in the video, leave a like or comment down below. Uh, I kind of have a question of the day. I'm not going to post it on here, but... Uh, question of the day is we recently made a transaction drop blaziken for orbeetle uh what do y'all think about that do you like orbeetle um is it have you used it before are there any sets that you like to use i know there are a few that i'm looking forward to using again i've have drafted it in the past and i like to use it in my normal 66 battles anyway but yeah leave a like comment down below uh next week till next week guys i'm nick and i'm your coach of the philadelphia pincers We'll see you next time.